My name is Micah Parkin, and I'm Executive Director of 350 Colorado, which is a climate movement building organization. So we're working to address the climate crisis and to transition to a sustainable clean energy future. I was working with my children's elementary school, and we were thinking about, we were starting a gardening program. And I wanted to have a greenhouse because I wanted to be able to have the children have a year-round growing season because I was pretty frustrated after <laughs> growing up in the southeast with the warm temperatures and a longer growing season. And just wanted the children to be able to grow more during the school year, but of course, because of course the, the main growing season is outside of the normal school year. And so we started contemplating getting a greenhouse for the school, and I heard about growing spaces and heard about the growing domes and I went to go visit one at another school and was just so impressed by so many things about it. I loved the design and the fact that um, that it was using a lot of uh, the sun's natural um, heating ability to to bounce off the reflectix into the water and that we could actually have um, fish in the pond for the children to be able to enjoy too. So with the school greenhouse we've also um, been able to provide that opportunity for a lot of children, for hundreds of children to be able to learn how to grow their own food too which I think is just a really important part of, um, of what you know all of our children need to be learning as times move forward and we have to shift off of uh, fossil fuels into a more sustainable way of life. Growing Spaces has been incredibly helpful through the whole process. They came in, you know, without any problem and helped us out and just incredibly helpful staff. So I've been very impressed with the customer service. My name is Kelly Bruno. I'm a first and second grade teacher at Pagosa Peak Open School. I think it just awakens their um, minds to just different possibilities and letting them see that, letting them have the experience growing food in here and um, tasting what they're growing and kind of making, learning how to make healthy choices early on with what they decide to eat. And then um, I think that's a big piece, letting them understand that they have that power to choose a healthy life. And so they get to see the growth of the plants, which is pretty amazing. They get to start the seeds and then they get to see them grow and then they get to taste them. And um, I also do a lot of creative writing in here. So I have them bring their workbooks and journals and stuff and sometimes just have them write about what you hear you know and sometimes they talk about the pond or you know the rain on the on the ceiling or whatever's happening that um, that day and one day we were tasting broccoli we had we had grown from seed and a, a second grader was writing and she wrote the broccoli tastes like victory <laughs> and I thought that was such an amazing word to use for a flavor of a food so Logan who is typically kind of rambunctious and runs around on field trips and hard to sort of maintain and he you know you can just see when he comes in here he's like whoa like you know he's going to respect the plants he's not going to touch other people's crops that they've worked on you know he's sort of it sort of brings him to a calming space and he just behaves differently and I notice that with a lot of the kids they come in here and they also see it as a privilege to come and so it's it's sort of you know they they need to work towards that and when they're in here, they're really focused and they, you know, they respect the pond and they respect the work of the other classes. I think that's cool for them to see that other people are in here too. The domes can be used all over the country and I think getting kids, um, a lot of kids who have the summer off, they don't get to have a growing experience at school because of um, the growing season is the summer. And so if you can expand the growing season throughout the whole school year or especially the fall and the winter and get, getting kids to have that experience then they're learning how to grow food in a time when they're in school compared to when their you know their natural environment would allow i just think it's it's really unique experience for the kids and they love it anytime they're planting seeds and getting their hands dirty and um, they taste food that they wouldn't normally eat because they feel connected to the experience so um, it's just it's just really phenomenal to have the opportunity to do it, so we're happy.